it seems to me that ayahuasca has had a plan and that it's reached out into the world and brought DMT into many, many thousands of lives and a much bigger um, canvas than it had reached for the last 10,000 or however many years. And it's done it very rapidly and it's done it with form to go with it. This is how you do this medicine. It's not the party drug. It's not very often a solo experience. And so it's taught people the circle ritual. It's taught people this sort of uh, collective awareness with individual self-containment that I think is uh, very valuable, that I think it's something that we had, that we had forgotten. And, um, and I see that form of circles, medicine circles is what my friends and I call them. Um, and, and again, the Native American church and peyote practices in North America also have a similar setting to this. The prayer uh, ceremonies of the Mazatecs, while not a circle, usually it's with an altar, it's a, it's a very conscious um, form and uh, guidelines within it. And then within those guidelines, such richness happens, but there's an entry into it, like into a sacred space, and then things happen within that space, and then there's a conscious opening of the doorway, a dissolving of that space, and so people go out and, and have a way then of integrating what they learned, and, and I just see that really happening much more in this culture, in the underground very much, I mean, where else is it going to happen really? Um, and so medicine circles of different sorts, some of them ayahuasca circles, sometimes using that circle form and putting other psychoactive substances into that, that form. And then because ayahuasca is um, moving so fast and uh, touching so many people so rapidly, it seems to also be, uh, uh, it, it comes in several flavors, I guess, and the whole syncretic, uh, quasi-Christian or strongly Christian traditions of ayahuasca or huasca as they call it in Brazil coming through the Santo Daime and the Unhao de Vegetal and these other uh, groups their ceremonies are different their content may be tilted this way or that way or have dogma even in it we may have reactions to that but it's bringing the medicine and the form of respectful use of the medicine where everybody comes out even better than they went in. So it's all in transition. It's changing very quickly. I try not to be reactive to forms that are not my favorite forms because I just look at them as every year almost you can see it's touching more people, it's shifting this way, people are making ceremony their own, they're dropping this part that felt uncomfortable, but they're, that we've learned, we're learning. Um, through this sort of uh, this this underground network of seekers and and singers and prayers, you know, we're learning how to be more conscious in and in, in our use of the medicine and in our envisioning of the future, even. <laughs>